charge five dollars to get in here. Watch it, speed bump. See it. So what'd you find? I find a shell, I'm gonna give it to a friend of mine. Oh, that's pretty. The sand comes right up against the boardwalk here. I wonder if that's what we saw. Yeah. That might be what we saw. Wow. Least turn or piping plover. Established in 1942, Parker River National Wildlife Refuge is one of over 545 national wildlife refuges across the country. The National Wildlife Refuge System is the world's largest network of lands dedicated to wildlife conservation. On a National Wildlife Refuge, wildlife comes first. This beach is for the birds. Did you know that the state endangered least tern and the federally threatened piping plover nest on Parker River's pristine beaches? This beach is closed from April 1st through mid-August to give the birds a safe place to nest and rest. We're at lot number two and we're going to go down this, looks like a long boardwalk. Joined that other one, but this one looks more like a 
ring bill or herring gull or something. It's much smaller. It's very hard to get up this thing. Ugh. Went down by the beach. We saw that cool gull. He's called a great black back gull. He or she. And now we're headed over to the next boardwalk. But this one really tired me out. It's just uh, walking up that sand hill. It was hard. All right, ready to go on? I'm ready. Ready? Ready. Some of the waterfowl here: mallard, gadwall, blue winged teal, green winged teal, northern shoveler, hooded merganser, and American black duck. Although there doesn't appear to be any wild waterfowl here right now. But there are plenty of cars driving by. We're on another boardwalk that goes down to the beach. They said there might be seals here, but we didn't see any. I would Not love today. to see a seal. I love seals. Yeah, that would have been cool, but maybe another time. We've gone to the beach from lot one, lot two, and lot three, and now we're looking for lot number four <laughs> to go down another boardwalk. Some of these boardwalks are long and they're a bit of a challenge, but this is fun. We're having fun. We were hoping to see seals on the beach because there was a sign saying there might be seals, but we didn't see any as of yet. I really love seals, so that would be the coolest thing to me if I got to see one. So we're looking for lot number four now. Oh, rabbit. Rabbit just ran out on the road, but he made it across safely. We're going to go look at one more. We're going to look at one more lot walk one more boardwalk and then start heading back towards home maybe get something to eat on the way because we don't really want to travel in the dark we finally found it lot four and we're gonna check out what's here there's supposed to be an observation deck too mosquitoes that numb their whole skin before feeding, greenheads tear open skin with razor-life mouth parts to collect their meal of blood. We just walked down part of the interpretive trail. The marsh trail was closed. So we're going to head back to the car and take off. Are you ready to, just about ready to leave? Yes, I think I am. It was a fun day. It was. I think the beach was the best part. Yeah, and the it was. great black back gull, they were the best part. And then the white egrets were pretty cool. And we saw a great blue heron. Oh, and the little, the little birds on the beach. Um, it said they might have been they might have been terns or plovers, but I'll have to see what I can find out about them. But they were really neat too. So it was a fun day. I think it's the wildlife that really makes it makes the day. Yeah, it is.